There you go, and fish. I'll tell you what, some crazy things going on, even crazier than usual. Somebody left a comment in one of the videos I did uh, yesterday regarding the uh, the image in the cicada and the sevens puzzles going on. I did a quick video on it pointing out some of the imagery in there that I didn't know if they were aware of or not. And I uh, basically addressed it to uh, Defango because he's the only channel I came across and I've kind of got to f follow several of his videos. So I kind of picking it up where he is in a sense I guess but ironically if there is such a thing I'm I'm about to do a video on the flip side image of that ad avant guard there's a obvious somebody sent me a comment and told me there was a flip side image of it which is this right and I guess that's uh what is it called Joel in the wilderness I think Saint Jerome St. Jerome in the Wilderness. Okay. Yeah. So, I see this and I go, alright. And, and he's talking about the number seven is the seeker and so forth. And I get it. And to uh, pay attention to the capital T. Capital T in truth. And that's, that's true. When you're talking about truth, real truth, most people don't even know what that is. But I digress. But of course, you know, I had to, I had to get the image to check it out because I was gonna anyway. But then, when he talks about the T, the capital T, you know, you have a capital T in this image here, and it looks to me like a, like a crucifix. I'm sure that'll probably add a little intrigue to the puzzle. Yay! And there's more. There's a lot more. This guy's got all kinds of stuff. You know, I just inverted it like I usually do. And looking at the crucifix upside down, you know, you got all kinds of company around there. I highlighted a couple things like these guys. And I'll be happy to point them out to you. This fellow you can see right here. Okay. There he is, and he's not a friendly. Once again, they're not friendlies. How come they're never friendlies? Ever. Ever. They're always very, very unfriendly looking creatures. Why is that? And there's layers upon layers upon layers of them. So, just another heads up, buddy, that you got some... You got some supernatural stuff going on here, and you know you might also be looking at uh, something in the system itself, in the uh, an AI, if you will. You know, because I find it hard to believe that this dude with his little old paintbrush 500 years ago finally painted that devil in the little red streak on that bird's head. If you can't see that. Whew, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is eye, eye, his horns, mouth, nose. So, this is what you're dealing with, okay? Just be aware of that. And it does lead to truth. It does. Absolutely does lead to truth. Yeah, but it depends a great deal on how you seek the truth. See, this world will tempt you into thinking you're seeking the truth with intellect and with, you know, carnal knowledge, and numerology, and things of that nature. But until you recognize that uh, the plight of man, when one is honest with oneself, has not portrayed a very good track record. There is a system within humanity that is not friendly. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it, to be honest with you. But this old dude did not paint 
with his little paintbrush, or then again, who am I to say, maybe he did. But boy, that's some fine work to get these little, little demons and devil creatures in here. You're going to have a field day with this. This stuff is all over the place. And I just, you know, like I said before, you know, I don't claim to be, that's a little devil character right there. Claim to be any kind of a preacher or anything. No, you know what I'm saying? But I do know Christ Jesus. And until I did, you know, this kind of stuff would do nothing more than fascinate me and, you know, cause me to just kind of tickle my intellect, if you will, tantalizing, occupying the mind, gaining knowledge. But I never understood the, the actual truth, that fulfilling truth. You know, that's the whole thing with life these days. I mean, this earth is so contaminated, you know, people don't even really understand what true fulfillment is. But I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rant. I wish you guys all the best in the world. I hope you do seek the truth. I hope you do look into the Bible. It has a lot to offer, man. You know, like how they hide this stuff in here, you know. It's like one of my favorite Bible quotes. Isaiah 29, 15. He says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are done in the dark. And they say, Who sees us? And who knows us? <laughs> that That's these works. Who sees us? Who sees our little trickery and our little secret languages we use and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it is. It's all just for naught, believe me. Ultimately, it's the work of the darkness. You want to look for the light, man. Once you understand the depths of this wickedness, there's no fear in it when you turn and understand that the exact polar opposite is waiting to teach you the truth and bring you peace. And with that, I say peace and grace to you. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 